Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the next instalment of the Eurodemo series. Today, Eurodemo Future 95. Uh, this is known as the Perfect 10 demo disc, even though there's 12 playable demos on it, and it says, get new hands on the Perfect demo disc. So someone's a bit drunk when they made this uh, fucking demo cover, but whatever. Uh, I hope you guys are ready, because this one is going to take a rather of a long time. Because uh, you're going to see why. We have Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider 2, Tomb Raider 3, Driver, Driver 2, Metal Gear Solid, Spyro Year of the Dragon, Tekken 3, Toka World Touring Pass, Quake 2, Gran Turismo, and Ice Pro Evolution 2. Oh god. I can see about five things on this demo disc that are going to take some time. And that's the two Raiders, Metal Gear Solid and Spyro. That's probably going to total to at least an hour, maybe even pushing two hours for just those five. Oh god. Well, let's get started. Uh, we're going to be here for some time. I hope you got your popcorn ready. Fuck me. Uh, let's go with it. Tomb Raider. Wow. Let's see how this goes. We're going to try and play for every bit of it, um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I think it's the same demo we've played before. Yeah. How do we jump? Okay, right, I just remembered. Now last time, for some reason, the demo ended after I made this jump. I don't really know why. Like, there was a jump that I made, and for some reason, it literally just ended the demo. I didn't hit start select or anything. It was rather, rather, uh, rather, rather weird. So hopefully it doesn't do that today. Oh no, I made the jump first try there, and it... Oh, damn it. Hopefully I'm not going to spend the whole demo doing this. No. There we go. Okay. Ah, there we go. Right, it's gonna get over to the right. Yeah, boys, let's do it. Right, just to just to confirm, my fingers are absolutely nowhere near start select right now. Okay, so if I make this jump and it starts selects, then I don't know why. I'm just putting that out there now. Oh. Okay, here we go. Huh. Okay, all right. It didn't do it this time. Cool. Now, where the hell do we go from here? Grab that. What's this? 
that a totem or something? Looks like it. Grab it. Hmm. Looks something nice. Right, where to now? Ah, okay. But what's that? Shotgun shells. Wait, what? Why is that door closed again? Is there a time limit on that? Are you fucking joking me? Okay. No, you f <sighs> Oh, you fucker. Now we know there's a time limit on that door. We need to get in there pretty quick, don't we? I press the jump button, get out of it. Like, oh. Okay. So clearly that get this game has a time limit. Because I did not press start select there. I can promise you that, but that's enough of that, um, because, well, the demo ended, so I guess there, there's got to be a time limit on that, because I literally was nowhere near the start select button. Alright, next up is Tomb Raider 2. Well. 
No! Ah. Uh. Okay. <laughs> For fuck's sake. It's kind of hard to, um time and aim the jump. It always has kind of been a bit hard with this game, isn't it? Ooh. Ooh. Uh. And it. You do you, Lara. Um... Yes. <gasps> no! No! Oh crap. Oh my god. Bottom five moments in gaming history, everybody. That was absolutely why. Okay. There we go. Right. Damn it.
Okay, let's proceed on. Put them away. Jump. Lovely. Right. Oh no! No, no, I pressed the wrong fucking button! Oh. I thought select was the button where you can make yourself heal. Oh no. Fuck! Sorry. Um, didn't mean to do that. Okay, well, I guess we'll move on. Tomb Raider 3. I wanted to heal up. Uh, same demo as always. <laughs> uh, 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 hey! I'm stuck in the corner! L2, R2. Is it this game that you can press select? Yeah, it is. Oh, God. So basically, I got the wrong game like buttons.
Oh, I made it up this time. Hey. correctly I've got to go down here right button on the wall yeah I'm going to drop a flare here. Mm. So I can kind of see where I'm going. Ah, here. Okay. I'll go for that. Oh, okay. And the game's glitched out a little bit, hang on. Okay, hold on a minute.
Game's glitched, hang on. Kind of stuck with a flare. Uh oh. Yeah, I can't seem to move forward when I'm... I can't do anything anymore. One second. I can't seem to do anything anymore. I've still got this flare though. No, something's fucked. I don't know what I've done, but something's gone wrong. I'm stuck with a flare in the hand. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. She really likes this flare, doesn't she? How do you drop flares? Hmm. I can't do anything while I'm like this. I can't move or anything. It doesn't let me do it. I think I might have soft locked myself and I don't really know how because it's. I see nothing's being used. Look, if I use a, a large medic pack, for example, it doesn't even use it. She, it's like she's just stuck. Does anyone know how that. 
actually it happens. So in Tomb Raider 1, the demo ends after a certain time. In Tomb Raider 2, I pressed the wrong fucking button. But even then, I think I was going to die from that next bit anyway, because there's like a bunch, there's like an underwater bit where there's arrows that fire at you, and I always died when I played that. Uh, and in Tomb Raider 3, I always got killed by that laser thing, but I've now made it this far, and I've made it this far before, and I know you go down this little tunnel here. But, the game has softlocked, and I'm stuck with a flare in my hand, and I can't seem to disable it. There's nothing I can do to proceed on. So I have no choice but to start select, because I can't seem to play on now. I mean, you are seeing this, right? Please tell me you are, because it's like, look, I'm using things, and it's not registering it. I'm pressing the button, look, I go into the sneak mode, or the crouch, and I can't move. I mean, I'm. It's just like, what the fuck? Oh, fuck this. Okay, I'm gonna have to start select. Or, no, you start select, reset the demo. Why? Seriously. Don't understand that. Alright, we're not going to dwell on it. Let's just move on. I thought that would take a lot longer, if I'm honest. Next up is Driver. Okay, give it a go. Oh, here we go. I would play this before. Very simple demo. So you go up to the bridge and you just go by, you go down here. Okay, maybe not like that. You just go forward from the bridge here. You go by this road block. Straight to the middle like that. And then you lose. You just go on to the other side, obviously. There you go. There you go. And that's how you win. And that's literally it. That's the whole demo. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? No, it's not. Um... I hit start select. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got. I forgot. You got to reset, don't you? With <laughs> driver. That's the third reset we've had to do now. I also think we have to reset another game later on. I can't remember which one it was. It might even. Be, I think it probably might even be driver two.
driver two. Reflections, yay. Maskers will come back for you. Mm -hmm. I've forgotten what this demo includes. What, how does this demo run? Oh yeah, okay. We'll do one more go. You go somewhere different every time. No. Okay, going this way. A tree. Okay, I'm restarting. Fuck you, tree! Ho! There you go. 
guys. That's why I always Let's go. But fuck it here, though I'm fucked. I'm fucking it up. <laughs> oh, for the love of fucking holy Christ. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck this game. Oh my god. Honestly. And uh, I'm going to have to um, do a quick pause here because I've actually got to go and do some things. Um, so I'm going to have to uh, continue this recording in a little bit. So I'm just going to jump to a new part of the recording. Okay. Uh, so uh, back in the mo, peeps. Right. Uh, I'm back. Um, so I finished the recording at about 5 o'clock, uh, it is now 9pm, I'm recording this 4 hours later, but obviously you don't know that, um, because for you it's just a normal, normal thing, uh, it's just like as if nothing ever happened. So uh, yeah, we'll carry on from driver 2, so the next thing up is Metal Gear Solid. So. One thing I was thinking about uh, while I was away is just how poor Tomb Raider 2, uh, Tomb Raider 1, 2 and 3 went really. It's a shame that what happened in Tomb Raider 3, um, like it glitching out of the flares and then me accidentally hitting select in Tomb Raider 2 and then unfortunately there being a time limit in Tomb Raider 1. But hopefully I'll be able to provide some better gameplay in the future because I do believe that... Um, in Eurodemo 101, or Eurodemo Future 101, um, the Tomb Raiders reappear. All of them. So, uh, yeah. So we'll be able to play it again in the future. But for now, let's focus on what's going on here. Nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces being led by members of Foxhound. They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the president of ArmsTech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then? We'll launch a one-man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. High-tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, the beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, 
In charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? The man with the same code name as you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment OSP? Yes. This is a top-secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Sorry about that. Okay, Metal Gear Solid. As we know, this game is quite long. So we'll try and get through it as quickly as we possibly can. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Hey, here we go. A minute. So I can run to the lift. Snake, there's an elevator there you can take up to the ground. You'll just have to wait for the elevator to come down. You better hide somewhere. Right here, we'll do. Oh shit, maybe not here. Oh shit, went the wrong way. Sorry.
that's what I wanted to do the first time. <laughs> Apologize for the loud noises from the um, Mac. Can't seem to mute it. Snake, I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't Excellent. slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide, Snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Behind D? Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea. But it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. Only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, you must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. Mm. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But, uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a trained killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. 
But first, let me explain about your solar town radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. <laughs> Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip-search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. Ooh. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. If you want to get in, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Okay, here we go. Surveillance camera? No, I tried. I have another go. Surveillance camera. Go! Quick! 
Thank you. That base must have some kind of ventilation system to recirculate the air. There should be air ducts around there somewhere. They must need a lot of power to run the base. There's probably a diesel generator somewhere. And since generating electricity requires oxygen, there must be exhaust openings for that, too. You're not gonna believe this, but they shot down the F-16s we were using as a diversion with a Hein D. Then we got a message from Liquid. He said if we try something like that again, he'll launch the nuke. Snake, hurry up and get in there. That hind will be coming back soon. That base must have some kind of ventilation system to research. <laughs> so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. Okay. in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. They're about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Did something happen? There's an intruder. Really? He's already done three people. He's killed three people? Yeah. Say he's using stealth, too. Stealth? There's an intruder besides me? Anyway, I want you to increase the security <laughs> detail on the chief. Let's keep going. Press the action button to drop down. Thanks. Might as well get this box, whatever it is. Oh, well.
Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. Okay. No! Oh! Chief, he's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Let's go and rescue him. Snake, if you want to go up or down a ladder, just press the action button by the ladder. signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first person view mode. Nah, we know where it is. Donald Anderson, right? You here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like me. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. 
They could launch a nuke. What? How do they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay. We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear... It can't be... You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary. It's grown into a huge joint project between Arms Tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution... Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They're probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of Arms Tech? That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked? Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password... Yes. They'll be able to launch a nuke anytime. But... There is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key? So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen. You need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes, they cemented over the entrances but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a PAN card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. 
Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? What is it? And that's the end of the demo. I start select. All right, moving on. Spyro, Year of the Dragon. I believe this is Spyro 3. A game we've played countless times now. Decided to the skate park. sake. How do you jump?
Oh. I don't quite get it. I'm pressing. How do you suppose? How are you supposed to reach? How do you get them? It's the one level in Spyro that I can't seem to do, so I'm just going to quit and do another level, I think, because it's just... I struggle with that one too much. Go to another level. <laughs> Okay, whatever. We'll go down we'll go down here.
No! Uh. Oh, what? Is he? And that's the end. All right, we'll move on with that. A bit weird about the music, but I. Alright, Tekken 3.
will be Eddie. We like Eddie. Round one. Fight! <laughs> Round two, fight! Oh. Yay. Now we play as the other one. Exile you. Pull again. <laughs> Round one. Fight! <laughs> Bastard. No. There we go. Sit down. <laughs> And that's how it's done. You win. And that was taken three. Let's go back to the demo screen to move on. Next up, Toka, World Touring Cars. Free race. Hockenheim ring as always.
that was pure perfection that. <laughs> There's another one. Are you sure? Of a heavy hit. <laughs> That's gone. Shit! Okay, that's it. Let's move on. Next up, Quake 2.
got a rocket launcher now. Okay, and that's the end of Quake 2. Beat that pretty quick. Next up, Gran Turismo, and then finally, ISS Pro afterwards. ISS Evolution. And this is the Gran Turismo demo that only is 45 se uh, sorry, 75 seconds, isn't it? Because uh, this is Gran Turismo 1, the, the original. I do one track, so that's all you can do.
I don't know why they can't just let you do two laps. I'm going to start select and go back to the demo screen. All right, final thing on the disc, Ice Pro Evolution 2. Okay. You know, we'll be Spain because they won the World Cup for the women's recently. So we'll be Spain this time. And we'll go against England. They were the two finalists, so we may as well. I've played England. I've played as England before, so it's only fair we go against them as well. The match has begun. The team attacking from the left of the screen is Spain, and attacking from right to left is England. No. Good acceleration. 
Okay, and that was Eurodemo Future 95. I didn't take as long as I thought it would, but I'm a bit disappointed in myself with Tomb Raider. I really should have gone 10 times better, but it just didn't. Unfortunately, the demo just kind of uh, went against me today. Um, I know Tomb Raider 2, I made an error by pressing select. I uh, apologise about that. Um, but. You know, can't be helped. Sometimes you make mistakes, and also, like I said, I thought it was the inventory button, but it actually was in Tomb Raider 3. That select was the um, pressable button. But oh well. I mean, you're not going to remember everything with these demos. So I'm pretty sure most people know that. So uh, you know, screw it. That's me done. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good night. Take care. Tally ho.